As a blockchain developer, you have to know how to work with API. When you will work on a real world project and when you want data to display in your front end application, when you want to connect the blockchain with the front end, not all the time you're going to use and run personal node on your own computer. At that point of time, you have to take the help of the existing API which are there in the market, which you can utilize it to fetch the real time data and display right in your front end app. If you visit any exchange right now, you will find all they use any kind of API to show you real time data. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the four important APIs which you have to know if you really want to be in the space of DeFi and decentralized exchange. It's not an ideal situation where you have to run the own node in your computer, which again, very energy extensive and that will create huge pressure on your computer. And I would never prefer to get data running the entire blockchain node in my own computer rather than using the API which already exists. So the first API I have is Coin Picker. And this API will give you the real time data about every single ERC20 token on Ethereum blockchain. So you can easily be able to find everything like what is the price, what is the traditions, the transactions, volume, everything we're able to find in this API. There's a lot of things in this. So the second API we have is OpenSea. OpenSea is an NFT marketplace and they also provide you their API. So you can easily be able to find the real time NFT. So if you want to create a portfolio website, just imagine you want to create an application where you want to display that this particular account contain these ERC20 token, these NFT, the portfolio, the entire revenue, entire everything, the pricing, everything. So this API is going to be really helpful because this API will provide you the entire NFT data, which you can easily able to get it from here and display right in the front end application and you can serve your user. So this is the number two API, which again, I'm recommending you to come and have a look and look at the documentation that what data you are getting. And the third API we have is Alchemy. They also provide their API, which you can utilize it to fetch the real time data from Ethereum blockchain and from different blockchain. So you can come and you can check the documentation if you want to have a block explorer, ether price conversions, the history, everything you can able to find in their SDK. So make sure the simple process is very simple. All you have to do is to follow the documentation and everything is clear, clear stuff. Okay, that's the three powerful APIs for the crypto space. And I have one more additional API, which is for movie, TMD, B movie, because this API is so huge. And if you really want to become a API developer, if you want to master in the API development section, then I must tell you that every single developer has to build this project, build this API. What with this API, TMDB movie, they have a huge collections of movie and that they have different genres. They have different categories. They have different data history related to one movie. So they have a lot of endpoints. And as a developer, as a beginner, this will give you a very good idea to understand that how you can build a API, how you can fetch the data from the API with the multiples parameter. So must tell you that once you complete with this, with this three API, must check this last API and try to build one project around this. So very soon a project will come on this where I'm going to talk about the APIs and the project is almost ready, but it's in the editing process. So it will come very soon. So you guys can follow that, but must learn how to work with this data API because it's very complex and it will give you a very good idea. So these are the top four API, which I want you to come and explore and try to build at least one small project around each of this API. Try to understand that how the documentation work, how you can read the data and how you can exactly build the entire model for different section, diff according to the genre, according to the pricing, according to the transaction, tell you to check. So must tell you to check this all APIs. I'll provide all this four APIs link in the description so you can come and you can check step by step and you can see that what endpoints you can call, what data you will get. Hope this video makes sense to all of you with and that's the only thing I want to cover in this video. So make sure to hit like and subscribe. That will motivate me a lot. And if you have still any confusion, any doubt, and if you want me to ask anything, do leave in the comment section. I would love to answer that as well. So with that, I'm ending this video. Hope to see you in the next video.